The Fighter Hunter is a glass cannon that encourages aggressive, high-risk, high-reward play. This build focuses mainly on the use of the double saber weapon, while using knuckles for mobility and keeping daggers on hand for flying enemies who are always just out of reach. Let's look at the skill trees for this build. First, we grab 5 points of melee power up 1 in order to unlock the rest of the skill tree. When you reach the requisite levels, grab sidestep jump, air reversal, perfect recovery and attack combo, and double jump. When you reach level 80, be sure to max out high level bonus fighter, which gives you a 105% damage bonus. We put 6 points into melee power up 2 in order to give us a melee stat boost. Max out critical strike, since fighter actually does benefit from a high critical hit rate. Make sure to grab all your weapon focus skills as well as their upgraded versions. Double Saber will gain the ability to generate tornadoes around the user, which can block attacks the moment it's activated. Twin Daggers will deal increased damage the more jumps you do, and will continue to do so as long as you stay in the air, while Knuckles will gain a boost to attack speed for as long as you keep a string of attacks going. The stance we'll focus on is Valiant Stance, maxing it out along with Valiant Stance Up and Valiant Critical. This gives us a 250% damage bonus when attacking an enemy up front, while giving us a 135% bonus to damage when hitting an enemy from behind, all while granting a 25% bonus to critical hit rate. Next, grab Adrenaline, which increases the duration of Shifta and to Band buffs cast on us. Maxing out Tech Arts Perfect Attack Bonus and Combo Variance Perfect Attack PP Save, will give us a damage bonus and reduce the cost of Photon Arts when we use them in a combo. Next up is Overload, the main mechanic of the fighter. We put just 5 points in. Overload gives you a damage boost, while temporarily cutting your max HP by 75%. This state lasts for 30 seconds, and should be used constantly, as it allows you to deal a large burst of damage so long as you avoid getting hit, as your health will be very low the whole time. Upgrading it with Overload Photon Charge will fully restore your PP gauge when Overload ends. Because of Overload, maxing out Deadline Slayer and Halfline Slayer is essential, as these combined will give you 250 melee power when in Overload. Lastly, we want to max out Crazy Beat and Crazy Heart, which will give you an additional 200 melee power and increase your PP recovery rate by 200% while under a status effect. Overload counts for this, so now, Overload is giving you a 120% damage increase, 450 extra melee power, and 200% faster PP regen. On the Hunter tree, we will first put 6 points into HP up 1. At level 80, we also put 5 points into high level bonus Hunter, in order to get another 105% damage bonus. Be sure to max out perfect attack bonus 1 and 2, to gain a 220% damage boost when landing perfect attacks. Fury Stance is an essential part of our build. Maxing out every component of Fury Stance will grant us a 440% melee damage bonus, while also granting a 25% increase in critical hit rate. But we aren't only grabbing one stance this time. Putting 3 points into Guard Stance will give us access to the skill Automate Half, which we will max out. This skill makes us automatically use a potion when we drop below 50% HP. This skill doesn't work when Overload is active, but will help you survive while Overload is on cooldown. Lastly, we will max out Iron Will and Stalwart Spirit, which together grant a 75% chance to survive a fatal blow with one hit point, and when you do, grants 15 seconds of invincibility, and gives you an extra 300 melee power for 60 seconds. Having this trigger while Overload is active will feel like you were playing with God Mode turned on. For traveling, we have the Knuckles Photon Art, Advancing Charge Type 0. Holding this button down makes us charge forward. This is great for getting around, but constantly drains PP while in use. For mobbing, we mainly use the Double Saber Photon Art Chaos Slicer, which pulls enemies to one spot in front of us allowing follow-up attacks with either basic attacking or the photon art of your choice. For bossing, 
We use a combination of the Double Saber Photon Arts Scissor Slash, which is a quick 1-2 combo with your weapon, and Illusion Flurry, which is a string of devastating attacks. Chain these two arts back to back as much as possible against bosses. If you find yourself facing an enemy who won't stay on the ground, the Twin Daggers art Raging Waltz is good for launching yourself at aerial targets. The skill rings we want to use are Double Saber Whirlwind, which will cause you to generate tornadoes without having to press the weapon action button, essentially making your every move a torrent of wind and steel, and Critical Field, which must be added to your sub palette and allows you to generate an aura that gives you and the people inside it a boost to critical hit rate. Lastly, your mag should be melee based, with 200 levels of melee support.